In this tutorial I will create a network with IP phone and voice over IP using Cisco Packet Tracer. To start with, open Cisco Packet Tracer, and get the needed network devices. First network devices we will get is the 2811 router. This is the only router available in Cisco Packet Tracer that has a call manager express capability. We will name the Cisco 2811 router as net underscore RTR. The second network device I need is a Cisco 2950T switch. Both in Packet Tracer and in reality, Cisco 2950T network switch has 24 fast Ethernet ports, and two fixed Giga Ethernet uplink ports. Let us name this switch as net underscore SW. For end devices, I will get a 7960 IP phone, home VOIP, analog phone and APC. In reality, Cisco IP phone 7960 has two RJ45 ports that each support 10 and 100 megabits per second half or full duplex connections to external devices. I will name the IP phone as net underscore IP phone. A home voice over internet protocol or simply VOIP is a technology that allows you to make voice calls using a broadband internet connection instead of a regular or analog phone line. I will name this as net underscore VOIP. To complete the network, I will get an analog phone which I named as net analog phone, and a PC which named as net PC. Go back to router net underscore RTR, and open the command line interface or CLI. At the start, you will be prompt with a question, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? Just answer no to be able to configure the router with minimal and necessary configuration. Press return or enter key two times. Right now you are in user exec mode, provide enable command to move to privilege exec mode. Provide configure terminal command to move to global configuration. Enter the command host name space net underscore RTR to change the name of this router. You can see that the router name changed from simply router to net underscore RTR. Next is to go to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 with interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 command. Provide an IP address to this port with IP address 192.168.100.1 space 255.255.255.0. Then enter the command no shutdown to activate the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port of this router. Exit command will get you back to global configuration mode. Make this router to provide dynamic host configuration protocol or DHCP by entering IP DHCP pool voice command. DHCP is a network management protocol used to automate the process of configuring devices on IP networks. Provide the command network 192.168.100.0 space 255.255.255.0 to create a network address. Provide the command default-router 192.168.100.1 to declare a default gateway for other network devices. Then provide option 150 IP 192.168.100.1 command which is mandatory for VOIP configuration. Go back to global configuration mode using exit command. Provide IP DHCP excluded dash address 192.168.100.1 command to prevent the IP address of the router to be given to other network devices. Configure the call manager express or CME on this router to enable VOIP on this network by providing telephony dash service command. Define the maximum directory number by max dash DN4 command. This command specifies the maximum number of directory numbers, or virtual voice ports supported by the router in which, in this case, it is 4. Define the maximum Ethernet phone by max-ephone5 command. This command will specify the maximum number of IP phone, which, in this case is 5. Provide IP source-address 192.168.100.1 port 2000 command. This command define the address and port number where the Cisco CME router is listening for registrations. And provide the auto assign 1 to 4 command to automatically assign ePhone DN tags to Cisco IP phones as they register for service with the Cisco CME router. Close the CLI of net underscore RTR for a meantime, and go to net underscore SW switch. Open the CLI of net underscore SW switch and provide the following command. 
Enable command then press enter or return key. Configure terminal then press enter or return key. Provide a hostname net underscore sw command to change the switch name to net underscore sw. Provide interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 dash 24 command to provide the 24 ports of the net underscore sw switch, in this case, fast ether 0 slash 0 to 24 with the same configuration at the same time. Provide the command switch port mode access. Use this command when the ports of a network switch are connected to end devices such as IP phone, VOIP device, and PC. Provide the command switch port voice VLAN 1. This command allows the ports to accommodate voice under VLAN 1. Go to privilege exec mode by end command, and save the configuration by copy run start command. Connect fast ethernet 0 slash 0 of net underscore RTR router, and gate ethernet 0 slash 1 of net underscore SW switch with straight through cable. Connect fast ethernet 0 slash 1 of net underscore SW switch, and switch port of IP phone using straight through cable. Open the IP phone, and plug the power adapter. Go back to net underscore RTR router and provide the following command at the global configuration mode. ephone dn space 1 command to activate the interface ephone underscore DSP DN 1.1. Number space 5248 command to assign a phone number. Open the GUI of net IP phone and wait for a few minutes until you see the phone number is on the screen of net IP phone. Connect fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 of net underscore SW switch to Ethernet port of net VOIP using straight through cable. Connect phone port of VOIP to port net analog phone using phone cable. Open the config folder of net VOIP and enter 192.168.100.1 as the server address. Go back to CLI of net underscore RTR router and provide the following command. ephone dn space 2 command and press enter key. Number space 3679 command, and press enter key. Open the GUI of net analog phone, and wait until the phone number is registered on the screen. Since both net IP phone, and net analog phone have phone number, they can start communicating with one another. Let us try dialing the number of net analog phone 3679 from net IP phone. Go to GUI of net IP phone, lift the handset. A continuous sound is being heard just right after the handset is lifted. This is known as dial tone, a tone generated informing the calling party that the network is ready to receive a call. Dial 3679. The net analog phone should ring after dialing its last digit number, this is known as ringing signal, a loud sound informing the called party has an incoming call. Aside from that, there is a tone generated at the net IP phone, this is known as ring back tone which, informing the caller that the called phone is being rang. Lift the handset of net analog phone, and mimic the conversation by pressing do re me notes. Return the handset of both phones. Connect fast ethernet 0 of net PC and PC port of net underscore SW switch. Though you can also connect net PC directly to net underscore SW switch but, it is better to connect at the net IP phone to conserve the port of net underscore SW switch. Go to desktop of net PC and open command prompt. Request for an IP address by providing ip config space slash renew command. Wait until an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway are received by NetPC. Try to ping 192.168.100.1, the default gateway and IP address of net underscore RTR router on fast ethernet 0 slash 0. If there is a reply then this tutorial is done.